All right, so we're back, and uh, let's have another little update about not really moving, or at least for now. Um, about a week, I haven't done, I've uploaded everything I want to upload um, to YouTube thus far with these things, so I'm kind of caught up with that. But I've not recorded since the last video, which was maybe two weeks ago. And in that time, I went out to see some apartments, and I kind of got cold feet about the quick move. I thought I could, you know, move by the end of April. But as it turns out, um, that's just not going to work out. You know, the apartments themselves are, you know, you have to give like 60 days notice at the end. And it's like, oh, this is kind of, and, and the application process might take a little bit while, more and oh, whatever, whatever, whatever. You know, I'm still kind of new to the whole thing. It's been maybe a month since I've been, uh, what do you call it? Uh, thinking about this and it's fine the lease ends at the end of July. I can switch to month to month after that blah blah blah, but But the point is I've kind of made my peace with the fact that I'm gonna stay here a little longer and that's fine So what I've done is the nasty yard. I guess the grass is growing back there again But it's at least nice and lush here. I've uh, taken out some of the leaves three bags of leaves yesterday It looks a little better. You can see the stones. It just looks a lot cleaner nicer um, clean the deck. I got a new lawn or um, a leaf blower. Twenty-nine dollars at uh, what do you call it? At uh, at uh, uh, yeah, that's right here. Twenty-nine dollar leaf blower uh, at Lowe's or something. Eh, it's it's a glorified hair dryer, but it gets the job done. So you know that's good. So sort of made my peace with it. Every day I've done a little bit. I've, I've gathered the massive amounts of sticks out in the front lawn. It's spring, so everything, ever, all the dead wood's falling down. You know, create a big bundle of it, a faggot, if you will. And, uh, you know, so it's, it, I've kind of made my peace with the fact that I'm going to be here for a little bit more. And as a result, I'll just take care of it a little better. Um, I've sold some stuff. In fact, let's go inside and see what I've sold. Uh, the books... Well, let's see the books. The books, the books, the books. So I originally had seven or eight shelves of books, right? And I can't count too well, so it is down to two. I think it was down to like two and a half or three. It is down to basically two, okay? So let's see, books, that's off the agenda. Uh, some of it I sold, I got 90 bucks. 90 bucks from Half Price Books. All right, let's see here. Half price books. Yeah, I just I dumped five of those red boxes that I have down there. They gave me 96 bucks. I, I would have thrown it away, okay? Amazon trade-in. They gave me about 55 bucks for these books up to, yeah, these ones. This is from last time. So 55 bucks for that free shipping in. That was great. So 55 bucks there. Uh, I put the, um, the dresser on for sale. 40 bucks, okay? 40 bucks for this thing. That has been there for nine years, okay? Nine years, and all it was doing was collecting the water bill. I used to use that as my dresser for the old apartment. That was like nine years ago. 40 bucks. Two lesbians came by right as it was just about to rain, and they thought that this thing, this is a six drawer dresser, that this could fit in their, I don't know, just compact car. And I was like, are you people out of your mind? So they disassembled it, okay? They were out there when it was kind of drizzling for 30 minutes disassembling this. Uh, despite the fact that the ad specifically said, I'm not going to help uh, take it out, bring some people who can take... No, I, I help them. It's just uh, women, you know. Even when they're lesbians, they're still not good with the lifting and the thinking things through, but... You know, anyways, that's fine. They give me 40 bucks, so that's fine. And um, let's see, two, can you believe it? I sold two mattresses here, 40 bucks, 40 bucks, 40 bucks for 20 each for a mattress like this. Now, they're both clean. They're not crap, but 40 bucks. I hadn't used these since the apartment either. You know, I just brought this garbage to this house and have been storing them for nine years for no good reason. So I would have just left these, I would have thrown these away, right? Let's see what else. So, so about 96 bucks from Half Price Books, 55 from Amazon, uh, 40 each, 40 for the mattress, 40 for the dresser, and here's the kicker, the shirts, the shirts that I was complaining about. Well, you know, it had a nice ending. Um, I'm still gonna donate these, but I sold enough 
Well, we'll get to it. We'll tease this a little bit, but I sold enough to where these boxes are now empty. I only have three boxes left, which are gonna be donated, but I sold enough shirts to make, drum roll, drum roll. Let's see here, I made $596 after the shipping, after the fees, which was like, okay, a nice little last hurrah. I think I've sold less than that last year, you know, that sort of thing. And uh, that's pretty good. Everybody, I sold out of larges, uh, great. I had, what, of the adult size, I had 16 extra large, five double X, and 37 smalls, and a bunch of like youth sizes that for some reason I over-ordered back in the old days. But the point is, it's like, okay, it's a nice fitting end to all this. It's taken so long to get rid of them. I made plenty of money off of it. Everybody got a last chance to order it if they wanted to, and it's over, you know? And when I finally, you know, next week maybe realize, all right, let me just donate all this. What day is it gonna be, blah, blah, blah. I'll just, I'll just donate it. So, it, it's, it, things are moving along pretty good. However, as I said, I'm not actually moving like as, as I early, uh, I, I'm not moving as early as I hoped I'd be. I thought I could move by the end of April because I was just so sick and tired of this place. Let me drink a little bit. There we go. So it's gonna take a little longer and I was really bummed out about it. I was like, God damn it, I can't move, this is terrible. But, you know, if I look at it as, you know, I should have moved out by the end of April, it is now the 25th. That's a, that's a pretty big failure, but, you know, you add this up, it's 600 plus 100, 700. I got paid, what, 800, $900 to sort stuff out, to throw away a bunch of crap. That's not bad, you know? I got paid $900 to do spring cleaning and to look forward to a move and, and just have a nice comfortable move where, you know, I can now spend the next month or two, you know, actually finding something that I do like or whatever. So that's, you know, it's, it's an interesting thing to think about the perspective on it, which is, yeah, I was pretty, pretty distraught that, oh, I can't move and this is terrible. But as it turns out, and this is, I think, where we're gonna take a, I've set up a minor studio here. You may have missed it because it still looks like crap and will look like crap. Oh yeah, another positive thing is like this sheet here. You want a little bit over there. I measured everything out in terms of what I want to keep. And I know what boxes to get. It's not very much, you know? So it's like I have a pretty comfortable, pretty com I'll have a comfortable move anyways. And I sort of know what is it that I need to keep, what I can still give away, what I can still donate, throw away. So that's all very positive stuff. Let's see here. Where is the... Ah, let's take all this with us. Because I also got some new light bulbs here, just so for the uh, studio here. It's a 40 watts times 3 and this thing here. Uh, let's see here. We were here a while back. Let's see, I got the mirror here so I can see the viewport here. Look at that, isn't gonna be amazing. Let's see. <laughs> we'll be back after these technical difficulties, but we won't because we'll just shoot. All right, let's see, is this good? Yeah, it seems pretty good. Oh, we can, yeah, it's a table. We can bring the table closer as well. Maybe I can be in the shot as well. So here we go, let's, lights. <laughs> so this is fun because the uh, old lights were just blasting my my eyes out. And I like the kind of more mellow, warm look, anyways. And again, so this is good. I hope. And let's see here. Here's all my money, minus the uh, five hundred and the fifty-five for the. Uh, ooh, this is blood on it. Ugh. <laughs> I didn't even notice. <laughs> the twenties have blood on them. And they're not even consecutive 20s. Ooh. Now, it could be food uh, that I left out there. Let's see, you see? Well, it could be, yeah, I'm kind of, yeah, I need to clean up out there as well. But the point is, there we go. There we go. This should be the YouTube screenshot. <laughs> 
the guy who bought the mattresses, he was like telling me how his daughter is moving out of state to Montana. And I'm like, you're buying used mattresses in, in Texas to haul to Montana because you want to save 20 bucks. It's like, okay, that's just bye bye, thank you. But that guy paid me in ones as well. I, I don't know, I don't understand. The point is, it added up and uh, I don't care. I don't care. The fucking mattresses are out of here and I do not care. So anyways, what was my point here? Right. So I got a lot of stuff done actually. Uh, and the perspective is, yeah, if I want to move out in five days, that's not going to happen and that's a pretty big letdown. But I got $900 to clean everything up and start to think about moving out of here. That's pretty good, you know, that's pretty good. Um, I would have thrown all this crap away and that would have been worth it, but I got a couple hundred extra bucks out of it. Pretty, pretty good, right? So, uh, moving update, yes, yes. Yeah, I got a I, I made my peace with, um, with living here a little longer, so, you know, let's take care of the outside as much as I can. We can mow the lawn and, you know, collecting the bags of leaves and, ugh. We've done a lot. I've done a lot of that. So, second half backyard. Yeah, I have to clean out the. Gr I cl oh, I cleaned out the patio furniture as well. It looks a lot nicer. Um, you know, the glass table that's out there. Blah blah blah. The grill. I haven't done the grill yet. <laughs> Maybe I'll do that today. If there's any sunlight left. I did have some steak. That was very nice. Uh, so I did that. Um, blah blah blah. Boxes. Everything, yeah, everything fits into boxes. I've done that. But, you know, as it turns out, it's it's not about the lumpy floor that's out here. It's not about living here. It's, it's just the helplessness and frustration of, you know, just not being able to do videos like this, really. It's, it's the helplessness of not continuing the grow thing, of not talking about what I finally want to talk about. And hopefully tomorrow, or, well, maybe not tomorrow, but the next video that I do is finally going to, be talking about things I finally want to talk about. You know, but that's what it's about. It's not the lumpy floor. It's not the helplessness. It's, it, it is the helplessness, but the lumpy floor represents a, a kind of deeper helplessness that, you know, my life isn't going anywhere. And it's easier to obsess about the messy yard and the lumpy floor. Well, it's not even the lumpy floor. I didn't even care about the lumpy floor. It was the Landlord who's like, oh, the floor is lumpy. Let's get it cleaned or let's get it fixed. And then I, I couldn't tell the handyman to fuck off after he's been here ten times and hadn't fixed it. And then he didn't show. It was the helplessness about that. But it's not the helplessness about that. It's the helplessness that nothing else is going right in my life that I'd want to. I've just been in this limbo of. I was relatively successful with business and all that stuff, but. Is this crooked? Does it matter? Is that the production values? Oh, it's a little, I don't know, who cares? Uh, but it's it's just the helplessness that I've, I haven't been able to do anything, you know, in the last, in the last couple of years. And the Guerrero thing didn't work out, and then, look, you know? And it didn't work, and it's just been, what the fuck do I do now? Again, the move itself would represent a pretty decent break from the past that I'm doing something different. That itself, but that itself is not the thing, okay? As I've said before, okay, I could, I could sit somewhere alone in, a, in an apartment or somewhere. It's like, it doesn't really fundamentally change anything, you know? But moving, but yet at the same time, just moving by itself is not necessarily a bad thing, you know? But especially if I understand all this, that it's not just the move, the move itself. <clears throat> also getting over a little cold. Um, yeah, the move itself would be would be a helpful kind of boost. Especially, so now I'm thinking, I, I don't want to waste the next couple weeks and months, and that still is when I'm moving exactly where I want to be able to do something almost every day. Tomorrow I'm going up there. There's a nice swimming pool, and they gave me a guest pass. I, I took a quick tour there. They gave me a, a guest pass without even asking. Uh, so I can actually test it out tomorrow. Instead of going to my usual pool, I'm going to go out to uh, the state park near there. And before that, I'll have a nice swim there. And I, they have a nice sauna, I think. I'll test all that out. Um, but it, it's just, it, it's tough because I don't want a big house, right? I mean, it, it's just everything. Nothing seems to be small and 
obviously there's very few things that are catered towards the, uh, you know, the bachelor side of things where I just need a small but nice place. It's very tough to find that. Everything is just so massive. Um, you know, but I'm sure I'll find something. And uh, I haven't looked into condos because I'm like, I don't want to live in a glorified apartment. But, you know, I'm going to have to check that out because it's, I don't, I don't want to maintain the yard. You know, I want nice greenness and it's a nice area where there is enough greenness to where I can see it, again, depending on where exactly it is. So I can, I can have a nice surrounding, but I don't have to maintain any of it, right? So... I'll, I'll look into that, and I, I really don't think I'm going to fall into that thing where, you know, it's, it's oh, it's I got another two months, so let me procrastinate until the last week of it. No, I don't think I'm going to do that. You know, every little day I've done little yard work. I picked up the sticks, made a faggot, if you will. Um, I've used that now twice, so that's fine. It's a good joke. You know, I, I picked some of the stuff out of the rose bushes, and it's like, okay, that's 10, 15 minutes, but it still gets shit done instead of, I'll block out three hours and I'll do everything and then it never gets done. It never gets done that way. You know, same thing with the deck and backyard. It's like, no, I did just the deck. That was fine. I did just the patio furniture. That's fine. I'll clean just the grill. That's 30 minutes, maybe 40. What, it doesn't matter, but it gets done. If it's like, I'll block off half the day and I'll do everything. No, that never works, so why even bother with it? You know, that never works that way. I'm just not that kind of a person. You know, maybe if there were, like, other people around, that's like, all right, let's fucking steam clean every corner. Maybe you could get... But by myself, it's just... I cannot just block off half the day and, and do everything. It's just... It's just not me. So it's great that it took me into, into my... Well into my 30s to figure out basic things like that. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, okay, let me see. I'm just looking at some notes I put together and, and whatever. Stability. Part of me wanting to move to an apartment was to get the sort of new stability. But it's weird because I've been stable here for nine years, right? <laughs> and I haven't done any fucking very few videos. Uh, the original 2013 series of videos, maybe a few more after that. But it's like, yeah, you know, I could just end up going to a new place, and if I don't actually do stuff like this, it doesn't matter where I am. And at the same time, now that in this crappy house, so to speak, I am doing these videos, I finally inspired myself to do them. Uh, it's like, okay, well, I still want to move, though. And yet, it's, it's complicated, you know? It's, um, it's complicated. But again, just thinking about where I want to move, where I want to go, I like the, one of the things of, of the apartment complex that for temporary purposes I wanted to stay in for a while, what I did not like about it was there wasn't an easy way to get out of there. You know, a lot of the, place where I'm, a lot of the places where I'm thinking of moving, you know, it's pretty easy to hit the trails, it's pretty easy to hit a street that's nice, and then you, but this place was kind of just in a weird spot where it took a while to get out of there and it wasn't that... So it was like, okay, this isn't... I don't know. It's, it's tough. It, was, it, it wasn't as scenic or as easy to get to places on foot as, as with other houses I've looked at or other places. So that's another consideration because I do love walking every day and at least just getting out, out and... You know, but I'll, I'll think about that. That's That still is an ongoing sort of confusion in my head as to what exactly I want. Let's see here. So, yeah, the stability, it's... I have to find the stability to do these things and finally start talking about what I want to talk about. Redo some of the Guerrero stuff. I, I just got to do that, you know? I can't... It's it's There isn't going to be any one place that's just going to be so inspirational. But at the same time, it would be nice to move somewhere else, right? And it's it's a weird feedback loop there. I don't know. We'll go into that. Uh, make peace. Yeah, yeah, so I made peace with the yard work stuff. Uh, let's see here. 19 minutes. We might actually get it all in one. Let's see. So, okay, so I sold the stuff. All the boxes, I know what, what's going in all of them. All right. Yeah. Frustration, helplessness. Moving... 
Uh, I guess we're done. I guess we can wave the money around. Maybe the uh, YouTube thumbnails will uh, see my money. <laughs> Some of those thumbnails are just absolutely awful. Even now I have to like screenshot the actual video. It's like this is the current year and YouTube still has three crappy thumbnails you can choose from for the um, for the thumbnail. You know, it's just ugh. I can't even. I can't even. Uh, so yeah, it's it's not about the three crappy toilets, it's not about the lumpy floor, it's not even the helplessness about not being able to get these things done. Although again, as promised, we will do a review, we will do a fun review of all three of the toilets and their imperfections. Um, but it's, it's not about that, it's about... I just I just need to do stuff like this more. That's it. I just need to do stuff like this, and and that's it. And again, the next video hopefully is going to be unless it's my three toilets. I, I might just throw that in there. That might just be a fun little video before we get super serious here. Um, it's not about the crappy toilet stability. Uh huh. So yeah, I mean it's it's a lot of it's just perspective, you know. Um, I thought I could move out of here by the end of the month. That's not happening, but again, money, money, money. $800, $900 just to clean a bunch of crap out. That's pretty good for me, right? So, and, and I've always wanted to sort of clean everything out and say, all right, this is just the bare stuff that I need. I don't need much more. Okay, that's pretty successful. We spent most of April doing that. That's a success. You know, nice spring cleaning. Uh, despite the fact that I don't want to, you know, continue living here for much longer. The yard's done, you know, um, that's nice and clean, it looks nice. Um, so, okay, that's, that's a small success, it's not massive, but it's, 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 I'll take it, I'll take it. And it gives us the next month or two to just decide where exactly to go and blah, blah, blah. Um... So, I, I just, no, I, I do want to talk about what I want to talk about next time, or, again, depending, but I think I'll leave it just relatively on the more practical side of the not moving stuff, and not, yeah, yeah, so moving is suspended until further notice, I mean, I still want to get out of here, again, I because the, the other thing was, it the lease ends at the end of July, technically, right? So if it ends at the end of July, it doesn't make sense to leave at the end of May and say, oh, we'll just take the last months. or Because I, if I leave at the end of June, I might get some of the old deposit back, which was for one month's rent. That's how it is with houses, I think. It's a pretty big deposit. So it's like, okay, then what's the point of leaving in May if you don't get the deposit back at the end of so you might as well leave in April, at the end of April, even if you leave quickly. But... But that just didn't come together. Anyway, so. Uh, let's see here. So yeah, hopefully, I, I have repeated myself quite a few times, but that's fine. That is fine. You know, um, yeah, I, and at the risk of not repeating myself, uh, I think this is it. This is good. So more like this, and uh, that's it.